Hello and welcome to Credit Matters TV. I'm Jeannie Shoesmith, a director in Standard & Poor's Corporate Ratings. I'd like to discuss Gannett's recently announced transactions. The company plans on spinning off its publishing assets and is acquiring the remaining 73% stake in Cars.com that it doesn't already own. Following Gannett's announcements, we've affirmed our ratings on the company, including our double B-plus corporate credit rating. The high-level takeaway from our affirmation is that we view the, the transactions as a positive for the business risk assessment of the publishing and digital entity, but that we expect leverage and financial risk will increase. The acquisition, uh, rather the spin-off of the publishing assets, is the latest in a series of spins announced uh, throughout the media space. Tribune Company just completed the spin-off of its newspapers, and a number of other media companies uh, have announced intentions or have already spun off their, their publishing assets. We view this as a positive given that the, the broadcasting division will no longer be exposed to an industry in secular decline. The acquisition of Cars.com is consistent with Gannett's strategy of growing its digital assets and diversifying its revenue streams. Um, Cars.com, most of the revenue from the website comes in the form of subscription revenue from auto dealers. We expect that this, uh, these fees will tend to be more stable than traditional auto advertising. So we also expect that Cars.com has some good growth prospects, so all in all a positive for the business risk assessment of Gannett. The $1.8 billion acquisition is expected to be funded with cash, revolver borrowings, and new debt. And as a result, we expect leverage will increase to the three to four times area. For more information, please see our research update published on Standard & Poor's Global Credit Portal. Thank you for joining us for Credit Matters TV.